Hey guys, welcome to Flight Says. I'm Stefan, and today we're going to be building the Model S V2 Night Edition from Eclipson. Friends, in this box right here, we have the new Eclipse and Model S, and the reason I'm saying new is because this one has the ability for LED lights. Now, if you guys remember in the past, we got to build the Model S and fly it in the middle of winter. It was cold, but fortunately, we had FPV, we had popcorn maker, we had a great experience flying it right here from the shop. This time we have warmer weather, we want to do some night flying, so I'm going to pass this kit off to my friend Dave. He's going to start building it, we're going to take you along the journey. All right, Dave, new day. What do you got going? All right, so we're, uh, we've got half the wing put together. We're getting ready to assemble the other half of the wing, get the other LEDs put in, and hopefully before too long we'll be ready to fly. This goes together really quick. Yeah, yeah, it is It is a quick building plane, and it looks phenomenal. It's really big, and just all around really nice. Love it. Yeah. All right, so uh, David, you're working on the Model S here. I went ahead and grabbed an Aura. Uh, our goal is here is to fly this in the evenings, be able to pass the transmitter around. This FT Aura 5 basically gives you the ability to get really amazing features like launch assist, level assist. So even if you're a brand new pilot, you can still have a good experience. Now anytime you're flying in the late evening, orientation is kind of a difficult thing. The cool thing about this is for people that maybe are nervous about this, we can flip a switch and have it instantly be able to level out for you. And also for things like launching, you're going to be able to put this in launch assist mode, which means when you throw this, it will automatically keep the wings level and establish a climb rate until you touch the controls. So the great thing is, is pretty much any airplane that you fly or especially that we design, you'll be able to drop one of these in and have an amazing experience. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this configuration and I'm gonna drop it in the Model S. <laughs> All right, so you caught something pretty big. Yeah, um, it's always a good idea to test your LEDs and stuff before you put them in here because once they're in, you have to glue everything down. You can't really get access to it. I'm glad we did because we actually have a broken spot in the LEDs right here. So the mud LEDs are addressable and it is a good possibility that it only has, you know, 50 of them on this strand. So it might be as simple as just readdressing some LEDs and we'll be all set. So I'm going to take it apart, get it fixed and put it back together. It looks amazing. Thank you. Hey Noah, how's it going? <laughs> Doing good. What is this thing? Oh, this is our newest printer. It's the AnyCubit Cobra Max. I mean, it's got a giant build volume. It's uh, 400 by 400 by 450 millimeters. Now in the past, we did the B17 tires, and unfortunately I had to make them a little bit smaller than what was actually scaled, just because we didn't have the build surface. We got this, the B17 wheels are already done, but instead, I need to make some engines for the B17, so I'm gonna get to work on it. That is awesome. All right, Mr. David, what are you doing? So we got the 3D printed engines done for the B17. Now I'm just gonna do some detailing work, paint them up, make them look even better. All in the details. It's pretty crazy how you can just brush paint right over 3D printed and you think you'd have the sand and prime and stuff, but that resolution's great. Yeah, yeah, it works out pretty good. Um, the the uh, actual layer height kind of locks the paint in place. Mm, I gotcha. Kind of like a uh, sand in it ahead of time with some coarse grit. Right, exactly. Now, if you use matte finished PLA, it works even better, honestly. Dave, it looks incredible, brother. All right, thank you, Josh. Um, we're actually getting ready to go outside. We got them all put together. You got yours all bound up, mine's bound up. Yep. This is the original Model S that we flew back in the winter when it was too cold to fly outside. We we're munching on popcorn, we we're flying FPV. Matter of fact, the experience was so good, we left the FPV module right on it. Our plan is, is I'm gonna be following you. Now, the really cool thing about this is this is lighted inside and it doesn't mean you have to fly it in pitch black. You can have one of those beautiful late evening flights and have incredible visibility. Also, a huge shout out to our good friend Hamish at Mud LED. If you guys don't know Hamish, he's the gentleman that won the Red Bull competition with his design, a beautiful H1 Hughes racer uh, that we ended up flying. Red Bull flew him in, gave him a ride in an airplane. It was an amazing experience. Hamish designed with his partner a mud LED board which is phone controlled and you can dial any pattern you in and it was incredibly easy to hook up. The neat thing is, it's all done through Wi-Fi. We've been having a blast with the mud LED board. We're even gonna be carrying this inside of our store so if you guys wanna be able to light up an airplane, whether it's maker foam, whether it's 3D printed, you're gonna be able to do so. So both the Model S's are now ready. We have the mud LEDs all programmed with three different unique patterns and to capture this, we're gonna put an Insta360 Go 2 on both the Model S with lights and also on the Model S without. That way when I'm chasing David flying around in the sky, we can get perspective from both directions. Him looking at me and me looking at him. All right, sun's going down, let's get ready. All right, 
So we're about what 30 minutes from uh, golden hour, a little after. Yeah, yeah, it's getting close. Yeah, it gets dark really, really quick here. We're gonna take this up for Maiden see how she flies. Dave's gonna fly it, and then later on, I'm gonna chase him with the other Model S. All right, let's do it. Right, this is really kind of difficult to hold. Like, how's that extra nose weight, Dave? Big difference. Big difference. Actually, yeah. Awesome. It feels a lot smoother. All right. So we're hijacking one of our friends here out of Edgewater to launch me here. Are you ready, brother? It's kind of hard to grip, but this should fly to your hand. Oh, beautiful. He is a pro. Thank you, brother. All right. I am going to look for my best friend. Hopefully behind you. Are you? <laughs> On the speed up. I cannot believe how smooth these things fly. You going to pass me? Yeah, I'm coming up. On my left or right? Uh, I'm on your right. All right. Wow, you're cruising. Yeah, I'm gonna turn to the left here. Okay, I just turned oh, I, left. Oh, I, yeah. I should be right above you. Oh, there you go. There you, you are. Me? Yep, I got you. <laughs> All right, now I'll kind of back off a little so, bit. So something that's pretty amazing about sailplanes and FPV is they go hand in hand. They're absolutely magical. I'm on you. A lot of times people think lights are for you know pitch black darkness. No, golden hour. It gives you the uh, the beautiful ability to. Oh, I can see you actually see your lights. That's gorgeous. They look great. Go ahead and speed up just a touch for me. There, we go. <laughs> there it is. Perfect, right there. <laughs> there you are. Absolutely gorgeous. So this plane was a pretty tall order here. You know, we have a love for the Radian, and Horizon made a beautiful plane called the Night Radian. They even let flight test. Uh, uh, co-brand it and that's a pretty tall order to say we want a 3d printed airplane that maneuvers and flies like the radian this is the closest thing i've ever felt to one especially with the lights in it now so if you guys like 3d printing you love the radian this is a great option to have where are you at brother i am behind you quite a ways i don't know what happened i, I was sta stayed dead. at the same speed All right, i'm gonna go top gun on you i'm gonna pull flaps there it is <laughs> and i stopped i'm not even i'm not even my throttle's off <laughs> and yep. I'm still climbing. Catching, catching thermals during golden hours, that breaks all the rules. Right? I'm actually pushing down. Where and, are you? Uh, uh, you should be oh, seeing me Oh, I see you. Now. Okay, yeah, you're way out there. I'm looking up and you're down below me. <laughs> I passed you again. <laughs> you were so light. <laughs> you know, I'm just a really terrible pilot. We just got really close. Did we? <laughs> if I had that laser tag system on, you'd kill me. I, I'm, I'm still not what? using throttle. I haven't touched well, my throttle. Well, you're gonna have to start using throttle because I can't see behind <laughs> you. I don't even see you now. So here's what it takes for me to follow you. I gotta drop my flaps. <laughs> and I'm flying it uh, a little over half throttle. So every model that Eclipse and designs, they just have this future spacey look and you think that they'd be hard to fly, but they fly so dialed in. I can only imagine how many different versions he designs of each one of his planes. By the way, I'm still flying the flaps. That's what it takes to stay behind you. <laughs> I haven't just... touched my throttle. <laughs> it's incredible. I keep forgetting that we're actually shooting an episode. I just feel like I'm <laughs> flying with my best friend having the best time ever. It's kind of what it feels like tonight. Just a yeah. relaxing, real nice evening out here. We haven't been blessed with too much good weather lately. And this is so nice. One more little pass here. I'm really happy I hooked up these flaps. It's the only way. Are you trying to land yours? Yeah, I probably should. I'm guessing my battery's probably getting low. I've got all the LEDs burning too. So next pass, I'm going to try to land. All right. I'm going to try to follow you here if I can. Make a nice long approach because of uh, how of uh, <laughs> This thing lands, it's it's pretty slippery. I'm gonna actually just go down the golf course and slalom through some trees. I'll probably still end up. Ooh, come on down. There we go. This is a must for FPV, by the way. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, here you come. Not the same approach I had. Yours bounced less. You were, you were in the grass. <laughs> Great Love job, it, man. buddy. Love it. Great work. <laughs> All right, David, that was amazing. Yeah, we had, we had a blast. Um, beautiful evening for it. Mud yeah. LED, 
They, they did oh. a phenomenal job with the LEDs. Absolutely I incredible. really highly recommend checking them out. Yeah, and, and, and Hamish is just an amazing guy. And also, if you guys want to build an Eclipse Model S like what you see right here, not only the Model LED, but if you use the code Flight Test with Eclipse in, you can get 5% off your model. And also, if you want to print with lightweight PLA, we now are carrying that in our store in all different colors, shapes, and sizes. Also, our favorite Varia sure as well, too. Yeah, so um, let's get our planes and get inside I want to go up again. It's dark. <laughs> See you guys next Take time. Take care.